Today on GEN, we will take a look at the MCJ ROTC birthday luncheon and a simple Thanksgiving craft. And you'll hear what some of you are grateful for. GEN starts now. Welcome back, Golden Eagles. I'm Tiara Salinas. And I'm Johnny X. Simmons, filling in for Ariana Soto. We're back with some more campus and community news for you. Thank you to everyone who contributed to the canned food drive. The winning third period will get a pizza party. Since we're talking about food, last week, Wednesday, the MCJ ROTC celebrated the 246th anniversary of the Marine Corps. They had a special performance from Vasti Andrade. Here's the details. This Wednesday, November 10th, the Marine will be hosting their big annual birthday celebration. They celebrated the birthday with cake, speeches, and the beautiful history of the Marines. First Sergeant Michelle Webb really appreciates being able to see her students develop from 9th grade to 12th grade. I got vested into the into this program. I um, it means a lot to me. These kids mean a lot to me. Desert Hot Springs means a lot to me. It's very important to me that they uh, have options and avenues to go down when they uh, plan for their future, and we are giving them an, an option. Adriana Vasquez has been in the program for four years. I've been just trying my best to be. I guess you could say the best cadet within the program with, um, by involving myself in the program, whether that be through, um, whether that be like knowledge based or like physical based, such as like physical activities. Joseph Busquet gave us an insight what persuaded him to join ROTC. What made me want to join ROTC in the first place, when I was in middle school, there was uh, two cadets right, about, like, right outside my um, I went to DSMS, so they're right outside, like in uniform, and I wanted to be one of them. So, Debbie Guy really wanted to join the Vietnam War, but couldn't since she couldn't pass the height requirement. So, I just finished college and went into law enforcement, and became a probation officer. Happy birthday, Marine Corps! Wow, what a beautifully organized event. Yeah, I agree. All this talk about food is making me hungry. Is it lunch yet? We still have some segments to show. Okay, let's show them. Okay, let's get right to Nicholas with the sports update. And McKaylee with the weather. What's going on, Golden Eagles? I'm Nicholas Remaden, and here's sports for the week. Fall sports are officially underway. On Monday the 15th, boys basketball took on Desert Christian Academy and lost 73-34. Also on Monday, boys soccer took on La Quinta and lost 9-1. Girls basketball will host Palm Desert on Friday the 19th at 5 o'clock. Don't miss it. Attention anyone interested in joining track and field. Conditioning is underway. Please see Coach Marshall in room 404 for details. Along with basketball and soccer, wrestling is also starting up. We have an exclusive look at one of their practices. What do you want to know? <laughs> the Golden Eagles wrestling team is fired up as always and preparing for the upcoming season. I had the pleasure of taking a look at one of their intense practices. Just their warm-ups impressed me with a run around the whole school and a series of wrestling moves. The rest of practice consisted of one-on-one -on -one training and one-on-one -on -one matches where a takedown wins. We asked some players how excited they are for the season and how practice helps them develop as players. I'm really excited. We have a big team this year. You know, I see a lot of potential in this year. Honestly, like just being here, the energy, it helps a lot. Going over the moves, it just kind of gets it stuck in my head. You get like muscle memory. It helps you learn the moves, takedowns, pins. It just makes you better. Two coaches described how confident they are in their squad. Yeah. Very, very confident. This year is, looks like a good season, looks like a nice big team. Looks like we've got a lot of potential and it uh, looks like we'll be doing pretty good this season. Really confident. Everybody that comes into the room, they're asking for 
move tips and how do you do this and it sounds really good modesty answer the question what do you want to learn what do you want to know good luck to the eagles wrestling team in the future i'm nicholas Maiden, reporting for gea wow what an amazing segment nicholas thanks nicholas you're welcome nicholas that's it for sports this week golden eagles i'm nicholas Maiden, signing off for gea I'm Akaili Hershey with your weather forecast. After another pretty warm week, we'll be seeing cooler temperatures by the end of this week with highs in the 70s. After a few days of clouds, we'll see the sun on Wednesday. We will most likely get some light winds like always. Is it just me or it seems like the heat doesn't want to go away this year? Like we get it, you're hot. Well, that's all for this week's weather. I'll see you next week on GEN's forecast. Don't miss it. Until then, stay warm and stay cool. Don't forget, next week is Thanksgiving break. So make sure to stay at home and enjoy your break. So how are you gonna spend your break? You know, I might just stay home and make turkey decorations. Really, how are you gonna do that? Alberto Servin can teach you how. He'll teach you guys as well. Happy almost Thanksgiving, everyone. This year, we're bringing you back to your childhood to teach you how to make your very own paper turkey to keep you entertained during the break. For this project, you'll be crafting paper, scissors, glue, googly eyes, and a pencil. The first step is to outline your beautiful turkey. Then you outline the feathers. After cutting the turkey's outlines, apply glue on the back of the turkey. Then attach the feathers on the body of the turkey. Now you start constructing the face of the turkey. Cut an oblong shape of a waddle for the turkey. Next, you cut out a triangular shape for the beak. After attaching both pieces, it's time to glue on the eyes. That was the last step, but if you want to make it even more special, you could write on each feather what you're grateful for. And there you have it, that's our DIY Thanksgiving turkey. Welcome back Eagles to Eagles with Tattoos, where we show you students, teachers, and their tattoos. Today, Miss O'Neill showed us her gentle tattoos that she has collected from all different parts of the world. I have a very large tattoo, my back piece, and it is a phoenix. And I chose a phoenix because it's meaningful to me. I am a Scorpio, and Scorpios can be represented by a scorpion, but also by the phoenix that rises from its own ashes. I, I've always had a sort of a relationship with that animal totem of the phoenix. And you may not know, most people know that the phoenix um, lights its own nest on fire and then burns itself up and then it's reborn inside its nest and but a lot of people don't know that the phoenix is legendary animal that is so gentle that it doesn't ever land even on a blade of grass because it wouldn't want to disturb a bug or anything so it's also a very gentle creature I think that my favorite tattoo right now would probably be Ganesh and it's only my favorite because I can see it. But this, um, I got the flower first, and I didn't really know why I got the flower, except that I really liked it. But then when I was in Peru, I had a really wonderful experience there, and I received hummingbird medicine. And so when I was in Cusco, Peru, I went and they added the hummingbird, and hummingbirds do like hibiscus. So I always feel like I kind of put that hibiscus there, and then the hummingbird was attracted to it. I do not have any regrets about my tattoos. If I could do it again, I probably would not have had the back piece because I don't see it very much for as much time as I invested in it. And yeah. See you next week, Eagles. I'm David Montes reporting for G-E-N. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for, uh, for my girlfriend, from everybody who I talk to, who's close to me. I'm thankful for being able to wake up every morning. You know, thankful for my parents and my boyfriend. I'm thankful for uh, making sandwiches at Subway. Um, for my family and my sister. Um, I'm thankful for my two best friends right here on the side, Mauricio and Victoria. Each, Each other. other. Each other. Woo. I'm thankful for my life and obviously my friends for my job, for my family, and for being here. 
Hello, Golden Eagles. With the holidays coming up, our office has put together a canned food drive so that way everyone has the opportunity to enjoy Thanksgiving. Um, well, we're, currently we're having a canned food drive and that is in our third period class where students are able to drop off cans to um, help out our local community in um, serving people who are underprivileged and need our support. So the perishables that we do collect from our canned food drive is going to go back to our community. So it's going to go back to Safe House of the Desert. Um, that's where we're going to be donating them. That's where they're going to be. Make sure you come down to the office to donate your box and canned goods today. More food talk. Now is it lunch? Almost. Hmm. Did you see that turkey? It was a hand turkey, not one you can eat. Anyways, we would like to remind the seniors that it's time to commit to grad night. The $250 ticket includes both Disneyland and California Adventure. $100 will reserve your seat. You will have until March 31st to pay this balance. Is that all we have for this week? Yes, you can finally go to lunch. Let's go! Okay, if you want to be seen on GEN, make sure to look out for our cameras. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when a new episode is ready. That's all we have for you this time. I'm Tiara Salinas. And I'm Johnny Simmons. Signing, Signing out for GEN. For GEN.